Welcome little scientists, it's Miss Gisa. Today I have a story called Meet Bacteria. Written and illustrated by Rebecca Bielowski. There is a world so tiny. You can't see it with just your eyes. You need to use a microscope to see it a bigger size. The tiny fellows that live there are bacteria, and if you'd like to meet them, they'd like to meet you too. It's true. They're everywhere, in dirt and air, although they can't be seen, on walls and doors, on chairs and floors, and cracks there in between. I like frozen places. I live in snow and ice. I prefer a hotter home. For me, the weather's nice. I live in the water, too. My place is in the sea. Me? I hate that salty taste. The pond's the place to be. If they find something that's yummy that they'd like to eat for lunch, they multiply so quickly First there's one, then there's a bunch. You're on my foot. No pushing, please. Some of them are naughty to make us six their aim. When you get a bellyache, sometimes they're the ones to blame. So after the toilet and before your food, I hope you don't forget to wash your hands with water and with soap. Most of them don't bother us. They are our little neighbors. Some of them can help us. They give some food their flavors. Bacteria make yogurt and stinky cheeses too. Some help by eating rubbish. That's a yucky job to do. Now we've met bacteria and we've learned something new. Whether nice or scarier, they're part of our world too. Let's take a look at some bacteria shapes. What shapes do you see here? Yeah, I see a circle, and then I see a bunch of circles, and a rod, and do you see the spiral? And how about the chain of circles? If you haven't already watched some of our other episodes on bacteria and viruses, be sure to do so. Remember, if you enjoyed this story, to hit the like button and subscribe so you never miss another episode.